In this chapter, we shall learn about our goals, rights and duties. As a citizen, we have some fundamental rights and duties towards our nation. Citizen is a mother nation. Bamade Desha Prote, Amadir Kichu duties and rights. In this chapter, we shall discuss about these particular rights and duties of us towards our nation. It is ruled over our country for more than 200 years. After a long freedom struggle, our country became independent on 15th August 1947. As we all know, because in this day, we all Indians celebrate our Independence Day. The immediate task before our leaders was to form a government. So, after the independence, what was the main task of our leaders? The main task was to form a government. For this purpose, a constituent assembly was set up in 1946. A set of guidelines and rules were prepared by the constituent assembly. This was called constitution. So what is constitution? Constitution is nothing but it's a guideline and rules for the country. Okay? Jisko Hindi mein kaha jata hai sangvidhan. So ye sangvidhan kya hai? Is, it's a set of guidelines and rules to run a country. This constitution was adopted on 26 January 1950. Thus, to mark this occasion, we celebrate 26th January as the Republic Day every year. Shongbidhan ba constitution ke adopt kora hoye chilo, okay? And it was a long term process to make a constitution and to adopt this constitution. Hmm. So, after a long term process in the day 26th January, 26th January ki kora hoye chilo, amadhe shongbidhan ke adopt kora hoye chilo. And thus, <coughs> from that day, we, the Indian, celebrate 26th January as the Republic Day every year, as we all know. Je din amadhe shongvidhan ke adopt kora holo, she din amadhe Republic Day ishabhe celebrate kori. Goals. The Indian Constitution is a written document, okay? So, Constitution is a written document and mone rakbe that Indian Constitution is the largest, world's largest constitution, okay? It lays down the powers of the government. The preamble is an introduction of, of the constitution. So, what is preamble? Preamble is the introduction. Constitution ke jodi amra ekta large book, book e shate compare kori. So, ekta boed je introduction thake. Exactly, constitution ere ekta introduction roe chhe. And this introduction is, introduction is called the preamble. Okay. It lays the aims and purposes of the constitution. Introduction is what is it? If you have introduction, it is what is it? It is the introduction. It is the introduction. How many chapters are there? What is the aim of the book? So, as the same way, in this preamble, there are written the purpose and the aim of the constitution. The preamble to our constitution lays emphasize on three goals basically it emphasizes on three goals name democracy socialism and secularism now what is democracy the constitution of india allows the people to elect their representative to form a government as we all know that after 18 years we are capable to give vote and we basically through the election system Select or elect our representative. Taito. After 18 years, amra bhoti, ibong bhote shaache, amra amade shorkar ba government ba representative ke elect kori. So this process is called the democracy. Ba kono tantra. Freedom and equality are essential for the success of democracy. Okay. And what is socialism? Socialism is nothing but it is the ethics or ethical value of equality 
that means the people in india will have equal rights and equal opportunities to progress jat pat aur dharm ke bheed mein yah koi bhi bhedbhav nahi kiya jata hai isliye india ko ek socialism country kehla jata hai okay that means each and every people lives in our country have equal rights and opportunity now what is secularism that means no discrimination will be made on the basis of religion or race okay that means each and every religious sect has equal chances and opportunities it may be christian it may be hinduism muslims or any other religion okay <clears throat> and the state treats all religion equally prottek religion ke equally treat kora hai that's why india is called a secular country now fundamental rights so as i already mentioned to you that as a citizen we have some fundamental rights and duties okay so now we shall read about the fundamental rights okay and always remember that we must be aware of our these fundamental rights so basically we have six fundamental rights in our constitution amader constitution e koto gulo fundamental rights royeche six rights what are the six rights <clears throat> right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation that means no one has the right to exploit others amra keu kauke exploit korte pari na we don't have the right to exploit others right to freedom of religion as i already mentioned that the state treats all religious sect equally that means each and every religious sect has right to freedom cultural and educational right that means everyone has the right to preserve their culture and can establish educational institution okay bibhinno dharma ba bibhinno sanskritir manush tader culture ke preserve korte pare and right to constitutional remedies our fundamental rights cannot be restricted or taken away so these are the basic six fundamental rights which are mentioned rather which are clearly mentioned in our constitution 